somebody please help me. I've got a new problem I haven't quite seen before. Well, yesterday evening I made the video of that van running perfect and I drove it out of my shop and parked it there and didn't go any farther because I hadn't hooked up the radiator yet. Well, it's all hooked up now. Wiring's all done and ready to take it for a test drive and now it won't start. What I noticed last night was around the throttle area for the injector pump there was lots of fluid leaking out around those springs that I took off. There was a puddle about a foot big underneath the vehicle after running for a couple minutes with no coolant. And I thought, well, maybe if I try to start it the next day, air would have got in there from, from where it was leaking. So I put this vice grip on the input fuel line and clamped it all off. So if air got in there, it wouldn't unpurge itself. So I tried to start it today wouldn't start, not a fire. The little solenoid that turns the pump on is working great. So I took the vice grip off, the hose off, sucked on it, got lots of stuff in my mouth. Oh, at least that low sulfur diesel doesn't taste as bad as the old stuff. Reprimed it all, crank and crank and crank again. Still, it popped and fired one or two times, but it won't go. And more fuel is coming up from right around this little shaft. I never bumped that throttle mechanism when everything was being moved around. Never was touched. Why the hell did it suddenly start leaking out there really bad and now my damn van doesn't start? Please message me or leave a comment. I might have another injector pump for a turbo, but this is a piss off. I was ready for a drive and ready for a video. Now I'm asking for help. I need a beer.